Ladies and gentlemen, the lighting of the lamp symbolizes new and auspicious beginning, and according to Indian culture, signifies hope and guidance to newer and brighter horizons. Honorable President of India, Sri Panam Mukherjee Ji, Sri Arun Mayra, Chairman IFTDO Advisory Board and Member Planning Commission, Government of India, Dr. Ganga Dharan, President ISTD and Vice Chairman IFTDO, Ms. Karal M. Paja, Chief IFTDO and Members of the IFTDO Board, Padma Sri Dr. Pritam Singh, Chairman IFTDO Program Committee and Director General International Management Institute, Dr. Udesh Koyli, Secretary General IFTDO, Eminent guests from all over the world, IFTDO Global HRD Award winners, delegates from various countries including Bahrain, Bangladesh, Canada, Dubai, Ebena, Kuwait, Malaysia, Nigeria, Norway, Saudi Arabia, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, UAE, UK, USA, Russia, and India. Friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of International Federation, of Training and Development Organizations, IFTDO, and our collaborators, ISTD, Ministry of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises, Ministry of Personal and Public Grievances and Pensions, Government of India, various industry bodies, SCOPE, SHM, FICI, CII, IMA, National HRD Network, National Institute of Personal Management, IMI, Tata Institute of Social Sciences. It is my proud privilege to welcome you all for the 42nd IFTDO World Conference and Exhibition at New Delhi in India. We are indeed privileged and honored that this conference is being inaugurated by the Honorable President of India. Thank you, sir, for gracing this occasion. This year's conference theme is Capability Building for Cutting Edge Organizations in New Business Order. We know that all innovations in technology, systems, and processes that create Cutting edge organizations are the product of the most precious of all resources, the human resource, now increasingly being referred to as the human treasure. A 13th century Buddhist sage had truly said that there is no treasure tower other than the figures of men and women, referring to the unfathomable potential inherent within the lives of all people. It is with these my treasures meet with someone who acknowledges who they are and what they can be that the circuit of their highest potential gets ignited. The conference theme truly embodies the ideal of human development, which in turn contributes to developing cutting-edge organizations at a time when the world economy has yet to come out of the global slowdown, and more so in the fiercely competitive new business order where the real differentiator would be human resources. This conference brings together a galaxy of distinguished speakers who have innovatively and enthusiastically unearth the inherent potential of many people in their respective places, organizations, and countries. The unfolding of experiences of best practices in the next three days will provide a cross-cultural and interdisciplinary learnings for all of us. With these words, I once again extend a hearty welcome to our experts, speakers, delegates, and guests who have come from diverse backgrounds but are united in their purpose of learning and sharing. It is heartening to note that the theme of this conference has been received very well by all, which is evident from the support received from leading organizations, both from public and private sectors. I thank them all. 
I once again welcome and thank the Honorable President for his distinguished presence amongst us on this important occasion. Jai Hind. I now have the pleasure of inviting Ms. Carol M. Panza, Chair Iftado, to address the gathering. Let me begin by saying that uh, on behalf of the board of IFTDO, we are delighted to be in incredible India. We would also like to thank, of course, the uh, leadership and the organizing committee of ISTD for their wonderful hospitality and for the enormous energy and effort they have expended in putting together what we are sure to be a world-class conference, <coughs> including arranging the most amazing honor and privilege to have the President of India, Mr. President, <laughs> be here with us tonight to open the 42nd IFTDO, IFTDO World Conference. For those of you who are unfamiliar with IFTDO, it is a federation of member organizations, one of which, of course, is the Indian Society for Training and Development, ISTD. IFTDO is the most multinational, multicultural, training and development organization in the world. Through our very diverse network of member organizations, IFTDO represents more than 500,000 professionals in over 30 countries. Our fundamental driving mission at IFTDO is to promote the concept of HRD as an effective tool across all sectors of society in order to increase both personal and organizational effectiveness. On a practical level, one of the things that we do is to coordinate conferences on uh, world conferences such as this one and also regional conferences. Another example of what we do is the Global Awards Program which you will experience tonight uh, the results of. The awards program was initially formed in order to recognize and celebrate projects that achieve real results and the energy and effort of the people who make those things possible. Those are just two examples of what we do and what I would like to invite all of you to do is visit the IFTDO booth in the expo and also feel free to come up to and engage any of us on the board in order to learn more about who we are, why we are, what we do, and who should join us. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, the President of India, Sri Pranab Mukherjee, Mr. Arun Mairam, Honorable Member of the Planning Commission of India, and the advisor to IFTDVO's 42nd Global Conference and Exhibition of IFTDVO, Mr. B.P. Rao, Chairman and Managing Director of Maharatna Company, BHL, President of IFTDVO, and Chairman of the Steering Committee of this Global Conference. Carol Panza, Chairman of IFTDO Executive Board, Dr. Pritam Singh, Director General of International Management Institute and Chairman of our Program Committee, Dr. Udesh Kohli, Secretary General of IFTDO, distinguished board members of IFTDO who are in attendance from several parts of the world, 
members of the <coughs> National Council of ISTD and past presidents of ISTD, eminent and invited speakers from abroad, uh, uh, both from inside the country and outside, and delegates from within India and outside, and ladies and gentlemen. It is with great pride I stand in this place as the national president of the Indian Society for Training and Development, established over 40 years ago, to heartily welcome every one of you to the inauguration of this very memorable global conference. The historical New Delhi has always remained an attractive destination to anyone, and I request you to enjoy your stay here, especially those from outside India. We have in our midst a very mighty person, the President of India, who has been very gracious to accept our request to open this conference, being attended by people of knowledge, experience, and wisdom from around the world. We wish to mention at this stage that part of his career include teaching in a college. He had very important key ministerial positions spanning over many decades in the government of India, and every one of us want to listen to what he has to say and his wisdom, and we want to be guided by his wisdom and knowledge. We are proud of his presence, especially after quite a number of us have been witnessing in, in India the decisions that he has been taking in the last several months of his career as a president of India. We are very proud to have him. I'm sure all of us are anxious to listen to him. We have in our midst this evening a very highly respected and honorable member of the parliament and the chair of the, our advisory committee to this global conference, Mr. Arun Myra, who has always lent his helping hand when needed. Welcome you, sir. We have our most admired person, Mr. B.P. Rao. He is being the managing director and chairman of BHL. He has assumed solid leadership ever since he took over and recently being, his company being confirmed the Maharatna Award. He is the current president of International Federation of Training and Development Organization and has been continuously inspiring all of us through his chairmanship of the steering group to organize this event. His contributions are invaluable and very difficult to measure. While I express my gratitude on behalf of ISTD, which is the host organization of this event, I welcome him to this memorable event. Carol Panza is the chair of the FTDO from US, whom you have already heard. She leads an executive board of IFTDO, and I'm very, to, very happy to welcome her to India from New York. Dr. Pitam Singh, our program committee chair, is the brain behind the scientific schedule drawn up for the entire four days of program. I gratefully acknowledge his contribution and welcome him to the ceremony. I welcome the chief executives and sponsors of various organizations who joined us this, to grace this occasion. We wish to express our gratitude for the facilitation to successfully, taking, successfully take of this international learning opportunity. I welcome Dr. Udesh Kohli, the Secretary General of FTDO, who has been instrumental in getting this event to India at regular intervals. We are proud to, have, to host the FTDO 40, 42nd Global Conference in India, and this is the fourth over the past few decades. I welcome experts, highly regarded internationally, who will be sharing dias over the next few days of time, and everyone present in the audience has to come to share and learn, fulfilling the very nature of the, very, uh, very nature of the training and development function. ISTD is managed by a national council and guided by the advisory council consisting of past presidents. Besides chairpersons of chapters from across the country, I welcome every one of them to this event. This event is graced by the presence of a large representatives of media. We expect to publicize the takeaways of this evening's message, from, especially from our president of India, as well as Mr. Arun Myra. And I'm sure this message will be very useful to people across the country. ISTD employees are backbone, and I wish to place our deep sense of gratitude for their presence here and welcome them to be enjoying their program the next four days' time. 
I welcome every delegate, our collaborators, educational institutions, partners, including professional organizations, to pres be present in this event and welcome them once again. And have a great evening and next three days of great deliberations. Thank you very much once again. Thank you. Mrs. Carol Panza, Mr. B.P. Rao, Mr. Udish, uh, Dr. Udish Kohli, Dr. Pritam Singh, Dr. Ganga Dharan, board members of the International Federation of Training and Development Organizations, delegates to this convention, ladies and gentlemen. A major force for change in the world over the next three decades will be an abundance of human energy. When on a map of the world, one paints in green those countries that will have large proportions of youth in their populations, and in red, those countries which, are, which will have less youth, then one can see where the fields of human energy are. The countries in green are the emerging economies. They have large pools of energy for the future. And the largest of these is India. The 42nd Global Convention of the International Federation of Training and Development Organizations is being held within the largest human energy field in the world today. India is very pleased to host it and welcomes all the delegates. Youth are potential energy. Like sources of hydrocarbon energy that are under the ground or beneath the sea or trapped in rock and which must be brought to surface and refined, the energy of youth must be refined too to obtain its full power. The purpose of this international conference is to advance the art of releasing and refining human energy. The use of hydrocarbon energy, the development of technology, and the continuous refinement of human energy have been the propellants of development of all modern economies for the past 150 years. As economies advance, the role that human energy is required to play changes. At first, economies need more skilled hands and more vocational training to produce competitive industrial enterprises. But the potential energy within human beings is not limited to the work of skilled hands. Henry Ford is reported to have said, why is it that when I want only a pair of hands, I get a whole human being? There is vast energy in human minds too. Therefore, vocational training cannot be sufficient. Good education systems are also essential for the growth of creative enterprises and healthy nations. In addition to hands and heads, human beings have hearts too. Hands, head, and heart, that was the whole human being that came to Ford's assembly lines. What seemed to trouble him was the yearning for freedom of the human spirit that is difficult to constrain in a mechanical assembly line. The poet Robert Frost said, when to the heart of man was it ever less than a treason to go with